Welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. This week, I'm going to be talking about the dinosaur Deinonychus. Deinonychus, meaning terrible claw, was the large dromaeosaur that lived about 115 to 108 million years ago, during the early Cretaceous. Deinonychus was quite large for a dromaeosaur, growing up to 3.4 metres long. Fossils of the animal have been found in several US states, including Montana and Utah. Deinonychus was discovered in 1931 in the south of Montana, when the well-known paleontologist Barnum Brown was searching for fossils of the ornithopod Tenontosaurus. Brown discovered the skeleton of a small carnivore, which he informally named, but later research by John Ostrom and others found that this skeleton, along with other material that they had collected, were actually the same species. Ostrom published what he had found in 1969, and Deinonychus was named. This new discovery was incredibly important in the history of dinosaur paleontology. Before this animal was uncovered, dinosaurs had been viewed as slow, cold-blooded giants that had failed and become extinct. But after studying Deinonychus, John Ostrom and other paleontologists realised that this animal would have been an agile predator, armed with sickle-like ungles and possessing similar traits to birds. This realisation, along with further discoveries of eggshells underneath the bones of some Deinonychus fossils, meant that the older view of dinosaurs as cold-blooded creatures was now turning into a more modern interpretation of warm-blooded ones. This period of time, beginning in the late 1960s, is known as the Dinosaur Renaissance. Several years after Ostrom described Deinonychus, he noticed how similar the forefeet of Deinonychus were to birds, which caused him to bring back the theory that birds had evolved from dinosaurs, originally thought of by Thomas Huxley in the mid-1800s. Now, this theory is widely accepted in most places. The discovery of Deinonychus has been called the most important single discovery of dinosaur paleontology in the mid-20th century, as it completely changed the way we see these animals forever. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Fossil Friday, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to follow me on social media, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one.